The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed them in a loud voice. Men of Judea and all you who live in Jerusalem, make no mistake about this, but listen carefully to what I say. Men of Israel, listen to what I am going to say. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God, by the miracles, importance, and signs that God worked through him when he was among you, as you know. This man, who was put into your power by the deliberate intention and foreknowledge of God, you took and had crucified and killed by men outside the law. But God raised him to life, freeing him from the pangs of Hades, for it was impossible for him to be held in its power since, as David says of him, I kept the Lord before my sight always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart rejoiced, my tongue delighted, my body too will rest secure, for you will not abandon me to Hades or allow your holy ones to see corruption. You have taught me the way of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Brothers, no one can deny that the patriarch David himself is dead and buried. His tomb is still with us. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn him an oath to make one of his descendants succeed him on the throne, he spoke with foreknowledge about the resurrection of the Christ. He is the one who was not abandoned to Hades and whose body did not see corruption. God raised this man, Jesus, to life. And of that, we are all witnesses. And our response is taken from Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, and you is my refuge. To Yahweh I say, you are my Lord. My happiness is in none other. My birthright, my cup is Yahweh. You, you alone, hold my lot secure. I bless Yahweh, who is my counselor. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep Yahweh before me always, for with him at my right hand, nothing can shake me. So my heart rejoices, my soul delights, my body too will rest secure, for you will not abandon me to Sheol. You cannot allow your faithful servant to see the abyss. You will teach me the path of life, unbounded joy in your presence. At your right hand, delight forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples. And suddenly, coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him, and clasping his feet, they did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. There they will see me. Now while they were on their way, some of the guards went off into the city to tell the chief priest all that had happened. These held a meeting with the elders, and after some discussion, handed a considerable sum of money to the soldiers with these instructions. This is what you must say. His disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. And should the governor come to hear of this, we undertake to put things right with him ourselves and to see that you do not get into trouble. So they took the money and carried out their instructions. And to this day, that is the story among the Jews. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.